Good afternoon. I am Dr. Pratik Podar, consultant gastroenterologist, hepatologist, and advanced endoscopist. Today I am here to talk to you about another disease. We are all fighting with COVID-19 all over the world, and we are dealing with a crisis, and the entire world has changed today. Maybe for the worse, but I, I am pretty sure things will get better. But even when things are like that, today I want to talk to you about a virus, the hepatitis group of viruses. The reason I'm talking about hepatitis virus today is, even when we are dealing with COVID, we cannot ignore the diseases that are already in this world, that are already killing millions and millions of people all over the world. Hepatitis group of viruses kill thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in India and worldwide every year. And it has been there, and there it's, it's not a disease which, can be, which cannot be prevented. So there is prevention and there is cure. The important thing is we need to know about it. 28th July is World Hepatitis Day. On this occasion of World Hepatitis Day, even with the scourge of COVID-19, even with coronavirus all over the world, we still have to be very, very concerned about the diseases which are already present and we need to beat it. What is hepatitis viruses? So the hepatitis group of viruses comprise of a group of viruses which affect the liver and cause short as well as long-term damage of the liver and can lead to liver cirrhosis and even death. The primary hepatitis viruses are the four viruses, hepatitis A, E and hepatitis B and C. The rest of the hepatitis viruses are also there, but they are not as prevalent or as difficult to treat or as problematic as these four viruses. Hepatitis A and E are primarily transmitted by contaminated food, water, and not maintaining proper hygiene practices. The hepatitis viruses A and E cause a short limited, self limited disease, usually, which has a prodrome period. The patient develops jaundice, may have fever preceding the jaundice, and gradually the patient improves and the jaundice subsides. It may take up to three to four weeks. The patient can lose weight at that time. The problem is this disease can be fatal. You can have severe hepatic failure, severe liver damage, and even during the illness, the patient can die. The problem is that this disease is prevalent worldwide, especially in tropical countries like ours. But the good thing is, it can be easily prevented. Maintaining proper hygiene practices, drinking clean water, hygienic water, drinking, eating clean food are all the methods and not a kind of Washing our hands properly, I think washing hands are very important now today with COVID all over the world. But this washing of hands, which has been important now, should have always been maintained and is also very important to prevent us from these hepatitis viruses, mainly hepatitis A and E. So washing our hands and maintaining hygiene practices can easily prevent hepatitis A and E. There is of course a vaccine available as well for hepatitis A, which we can use. Now, hepatitis A and E can have the full spectrum of problems. You can have jaundice, the patient can develop fever, the patient can develop liver failure, the patient can, if the patient already has underlying liver disease, both hepatitis A and E, when having a super infection of these two, any of the viruses, can actually be severely fatal. And the patient can have severe liver failure because of that. The other group of viruses that we have is hepatitis B and C. Now they are important because their transmission is similar to the transmission of HIV and AIDS. Now what is important, what we do not realize is H hepatitis B and C are actually more infectious and more transmissible than HIV. The similarity is same. First of all, the HIV viruses like hepatitis B and C viruses are transmitted through contaminated blood from sharing syringes, needles, from using blood contaminated products uh, it is used by unsafe it is spread by unsafe sex practices it is spread by from mother to child if a pregnant mother has the hepatitis b or c virus she can transmit it to their child during pregnancy as well as during childbirth and of course it can spread within families because of blood contamination and in in, case in, in families because of uh, when they're spreading by blood so blood products also are screened nowadays but blood products can also transmit the hepatitis B and C virus just like HIV is transmitted. 
Now what is important for us is this hepatitis B and C are either treatable or preventable. There is a great vaccine, a wonderful vaccine which has a very high rate of protection available for hepatitis B. Only three doses of the vaccine can give you a good protection which, is, which can be lifelong in most cases. Hepatitis C does not have a vaccine but hepatitis C drugs are available widely, they are affordable and they can easily control and cure the virus with a 90, more than 95% cure rate. The problem is these viruses are very slow and you do not know when the virus is within you and gradually the virus starts to damage your liver and causes problems otherwise. The liver starts to shrink, the liver gets damaged, it becomes cirrhotic. So what we call cirrhosis is basically the liver getting shrunken and damaged and fibrosed. When that happens, the liver is the main organ which helps synthesize a lot of products in the body, mainly proteins and there are certain markers which cause coagulation of the blood. So these markers and these proteins start to drop very rapidly in the blood and this can cause problems. So patients develop water stomach getting into, into, the, uh, into the stomach which is called ascites. So there is fluid which accumulates into the stomach cavity, into the abdominal cavity. You can have swelling of the feet. The patient can develop jaundice because the bile is not properly drained. It is not properly removed from the body. You can have the patient can develop bleeding tendencies because the coagulation factors drop. So you can have bleeding tendencies. They can be vomiting of blood. The patient can pass black tarry stools which is malina which is because of blood passing into the stomach and the intestinal cavity. This can give rise to liver failure and ultimately some patients can also develop liver cirrhosis. The quantum of the disease is quite high. 2 to 3 percent of the Indian population has some degree of hepatitis B or C virus which is present in the blood, the prevalence of this virus is. So you can understand how prevalent this virus is but the control is, is not very difficult. If we maintain practices like safe sex practices, not sharing needles, not having not using scalpels, blades which are being uh, shared by with each other, in those cases what we can do is this virus can be prevented. Blood products are screened all over the world and also in India and this transmission is protected through that. Importantly, whenever you have symptoms of these hepatitis viruses, so when we are trying to protect ourselves from these viruses, the most important thing is whenever we have symptoms like jaundice, loss of weight, loss of appetite, nausea, recurrent vomiting, swelling of the feet, swelling of the abdomen, in those cases we must report to our doctor about these symptoms and we must consult a physician to find out whether we are suffering from hepatitis. The tests to diagnose these conditions are very simple. You, can, you have certain blood markers, you have certain tests which can find out the virus in the blood and you can diagnose this condition very easily. Once the condition is diagnosed, it is very important that we treat our, that we are get treated properly at the right time and the right duration. So just understanding the important thing is that these viruses in some cases require lifelong treatment, especially with hepatitis B. In these cases, it is very important to be compliant with therapy. We need to take the drugs regularly and not stop the drugs and not skip the drug because if that, if we do that, it can be life threatening and it can damage our liver permanently. So the drugs will only help us if we are sincere and compliant with the medication and we follow up with our doctor regularly to find out if we are developing any complications which liver cirrhosis can cause. So he hepatitis is a problem only if we let it become a problem. Just like COVID-19 which we can prevent by maintaining distancing, by wearing masks, by washing our hands. Similarly, even hepatitis can be prevented by maintaining safe practices, hygienic practices, washing hands and other things. So by doing these methods, I believe we can not just conquer COVID-19, we can conquer hepatitis as well. And on this World Hepatitis Day, I believe we should all make a pledge to control this virus, to stop this virus and to live a better and more healthier life. Thank you.